Hello and welcome to Wasting Academy's YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll be talking about the new recruitment opportunity, which has been released by Bell, Bharat Electronics Limited. Now, um, what we can do is we can go on the official website of Bell uh, India dot in slash job notifications, and we will see uh, recruitment advertising page over here. And uh, the number one recruitment which has been released is for trainee. This is on contract um, basis. Uh, project engineers for Panchkula unit, they are taking in students for. So what we can do is we can just click on the advertisement and this advertisement will be opened up. Now over here they are saying Bharat Electronics Limited Panchkula. So Panchkula is near Chandigarh, uh, Punjab. So over here, um, the date of release of advertisement 26th of February. And last date of receipt of application will be 12th of March. So over here, they, are, they have mentioned it. They have mentioned it over here. Twelfth of March will be the last date of receipt application. And uh, whosoever is interested should go out and check out for Bharat Electronics recruitment, uh, Bharat Electronics Limited recruitment process. Now, so this is a Navratna company and uh, it is under a Ministry of Defense and requires the following pers uh, personals on temporary basis for Panchkula unit. So this will be on contract. Uh, trainee engineer, 28 years is the age limit as on 1st of February 2025. Electronics, 23 vacancies and mechanical, 19 vacancies, right? Um, after this, uh, what will be the pay for two years? The pay has been mentioned. For the first year, you'll be getting thirty thousand rupees per month, and for second year, thirty-five thousand rupees per month. Right after that, project engineer one, thirty-two years age limit. Electronics one, civil one, electrical one. Uh, here, the experience which is required is two years. And after that, what will be your salary packages? Uh, for the first year, 40,000 rupees per month. Second year, 45,000 rupees per month. And uh, third year, 50,000 rupees per month. So for three years, you will be getting remunerations. Now, age relaxation will be there for OVC, it is three years. For SCST, it is five years. After that, for uh, students with disability, 10 years of relaxation will be in there. Right, so this is as per the government norms. Now it is easily understandable, uh, the notification. Yes, it is given in English also and Hindi also. One paragraph in English, other paragraph in Hindi. So you can see. Now, uh, the students will be recruited for two years on contract basis. They have clearly mentioned, right? So which can be extended up to a maximum of three years, including the initial period. So it's up to their discretion if they want to do it or not. Now, 30,000 rupees per month for the first year, 35 for the second year, as mentioned. So, if you will be extended for one more year, then for the third year, 40,000 rupees per month will be your salary. After that, uh, project engineers uh, who are experienced ones, right, uh, for them, for experienced candidates, three years of um, contract will be there and it can be extended up to four years. For the first year, 40,000 rupees per month, second year, 45,000 rupees per month, third year, 50,000 rupees per month, and fourth year, 55,000 rupees per month will be the criteria, right? So keep this in mind. Afterwards, uh, what is the qualification required? So yes, four years of bachelor's degree will be required uh, from a reputed institution, uh, reputed, reputed institution, and uh, they have not mentioned about the uh, minimum marks which is required. So they have not mentioned the minimum marks actually. They have mentioned uh, with pass class it should be there. So you should be pass, right? Uh, pass in your entire degree. Afterwards, post qualification experience, they have mentioned two years of relevant experience which is required. Two years of relevant experience for the project engineer position one. Uh, that qualification experience uh, only relevant post qualification experience will be considered. The decision of the selection committee with respect to the relevance of the experience will be final. 
so you have to make sure that that your experience is what relevant with respect to the engineering domain which you are applying for right now afterwards uh, selection process for trainee engineer um, the selection will be through a written test it will be through a written test right in order of merit and uh, for the project engineer the selection will be through a written test followed by an interview so for the experienced personals there will be an interview also for inexperienced personnel the freshers there will be no interview only the test will be there uh, and only those candidates who qualify the written test in the ratio of ratio of uh, 1 is to 5 in order of merit they'll be applicable over here now how to apply what you can do is you can go to this website jobapply.in jobapply.in Slash bell two zero two five punchkula, P E T E. Right. So this is the official website. Better go over there and apply. Right. So I have told you the entire process. What you can do is you can go to the official website and then look out for this. What are the documents which are required? Documents which are required are nothing but passport size photograph, digital signature, ten standard mark sheet will be required as proof of date of birth. Right. And all the semester mark sheets. all the semester mark sheets final consolidated mark sheet will be applicable in case of cgpa or credit system of assessments the candidates are required to attach the formula of conversion of cgpa right slash credits to percentage in accordance with the respective university norms so if you are given cgpa at the end of your um uh, degree then you have to provide a documentation uh in which they will be given that this much cgpa is equivalent to this much percentage right now afterwards uh, all the economic status for ews category all the documents which are required relevant documents you have to upload it as per your caste certificate and everything and post qualification experience also from the pre previous and current employer is compulsory that certification should also be there candidates if working in psus or government organizations should be com uh, should compulsory submit non objection certificate as well so you have to uh, provide a noc as well from the required personnel uh, person uh, psu and also application fee payment receipt should be then only applicable um, over here you have to upload it application sent through email or any other channel will not be considered so go to the website which they have mentioned for that right so these are the requirements and what is the fees fees is uh, over here 472 rupees 472 rupees for project engineer and for trainee engineer 177 rupees and candidates from pwbd category physically handicapped sc st categories are exempted from the payment of the application fee right so there is no fee for them right and um, for the fees you can go um on online sbi.com for the application fee payment right so these are the main requirements of our uh exam uh, application form right and after that next what comes is the let's see if they have something mentioned about the exam syllabus or something like that um so application will be carried out purely based on information declared by the candidates in application form that is also important right nothing can be modified afterwards so they have not mentioned the syllabus for the examination so expect some basic syllabus which is common to your engineering subject and uh, we can also look out for the further details once the application form is submitted and the date of the uh, date of the exam will be declared on the official website right so have a look out uh, on this process uh, on this advertisement it is one of the best out there bharat electronics limited uh, the experience will be very much valid for your resume also it is very good for your resume building as well right uh, so thank you for watching do subscribe to our channel for regular updates on job notifications thank you